Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Data Factory Master Program video series. In today's session, we will see hands-on lab how to load Excel file with the multiple sheets dynamically using the 15 steps in the ADF. Okay, so what are the scenarios that we are going to cover is we will see first how to convert Excel data into the CSV file format. So as you know, the Excel and the CSV, the main difference is Excel can have the multiple sheets in it. That's why Excel is called a workbook. Whereas CSV file, you will have only single sheet. You cannot have multiple sheets. So now Excel has the two sheets in my example, employee sheet and a department sheet. Employee sheet is having the employee data. Department sheet is having the department data. Now what we are going to do in this lab is we will convert these two sheets of excel file into the two different csv files that is what i have explained in the scenario two how to create csv file for each excel sheet okay so i have department sheet and the employee sheet so i'll create a department.csv and employee.csv to see uh, two csv files if i have 10 sheets in the excel i'll create a 10 different csv files how to do this dynamically we will see for this the required uh, resources are i need two storage accounts one is for the source blob one is for the sync blob and one azure data factor in that i'll be using azure integration on time two linked services one is for source blob one is for sync blob two data sets one is for source blob one is for sync blob and activities are I need one for each activity and one copy activity. So the total I needed two activities. Okay, <clears throat> then pipelines are ingestion pipeline I need. So if you go to hands on lab, so I'll be creating the three resources source blob, sync blob and ADF in that source blob said I'll create a source container called cust and I'll upload the EMP department dot XLSX. It is an Excel file which has the employee and the department Excel sheets. So as I mentioned for each sheet, I'll create a one CSV. So I'll be converting them into the EMP.CSV and department.csv. So how to do that? I'll open ADF, I'll create two linked services, two data sets. Then I'll create the pipeline. In that pipeline, I'll use the for each activity. In the for each activity, basically I'll mention the sheets, the sheet names that I have in the Excel. Generally, you can store them in a file, you can store them in a database table and you can access them. So that's how we can do, but very quickly we can do this way also. You can hard code them in the for each activity. So for each activity is going to pass one by one sheet name to the copy activity source data set and sync data set. Source data set will accept that sheet name and read that um, values one by one sheet it will read and the sync side we will be creating the csv file okay once we have the setup ready we will be running this pipeline to achieve this particular result okay so to do this first i'll create the three resources source blob sync blob and adf okay let's go to the lab portal.azure.com so login into your account So it just logged in, right? So now what you need to do, go to storage accounts, click create storage account. Come here, you can just create the cloud pundit iPhone, dev iPhone RG, click OK. Storage account name is cloud pundit, okay? Source blob one, okay. just click review. It is validating. So validation is passed. You can create it. Okay. So come to the second tab. Click on portal.azure.com. Login into account. So here we need to create the sync storage account. Sync blob. Okay. So go to storage account. Click create storage account. Come down. So this is the device on RG storage account name is cloud funded sync blob one click review plus create click create okay come here go to portal.azure.com again login into the same account let's create the azure data factory here okay so let's go inside the data factories click create data factory come down select your cloud pundit iphone dev iphone rg cloud pundit 
ADF V2 2008. Okay, just click review plus create. So click create. So if you look at the our requirement, we just created source blob, sync blob, and ADF. I will go inside source blob. I will create the cast container and upload the Excel file. Sync side, we will see cast out container. I'll create, but when I run pipeline, we will see two CSV files. It will create. Okay, let's go to the source blob. Go to resource. Okay, if you just upload, sorry, not upload. Uh, come down. Go to containers. Let's create a container called cast. You are here. Cast container. I'm creating. Go inside cast containers upload excel file okay so where is this excel file so this is the emp department dot excel sx okay so if you open this file and see as it is a workbook it has multiple sheets it will show like this you will not be able to see so that's why i'll show you from here just to open emp department dot excel sx so this is the uh, excel file which has the multiple sheets see this is the one sheet this is the another sheet okay so department is one sheet employees is the another sheet so for each sheet i'll creating the one csv file let's do that so i just have shown you the source file which i have uploaded come to sync blob go to resource go inside container click containers this is a just a you need to create a cast out here click create okay you can see here there is a custard container which we have created okay so five steps are complete next we need to open adf create two linked services and the two data sets let's do that come here go to azure data factory open azure data factory launch adf so now we can see it is opening okay so adf is open now go to manage tab let's create a two linked services okay so click new let's create a linked service for blob this is a ls underscore blob for source okay come down subscription is this storage account name is source blob we need to connect to the source blob just to test connection so connection is successful created similar to this we also need to create a sync linked service click new create blob okay linked service for sync blob linked service for sync blob okay come down select subscription storage account name is sync blob one so now let's do a test connection click create so now you can see ls underscore blob source connection ls underscore blob sync connection both are available now go to author tab let's create the two data sets new data set this data set for what for the blob okay so azure blob store csv i'll be just saying this is a ds for okay blob source okay. next linked services source blob what type of file we have at the source set what type of file we have at the source set i'm sorry you need to choose here is it uh let me recreate so data set let me create from the beginning click data set new data set this is a blob select a blob so which type of source source is excel okay so you can just say ds for okay, blob source this is a source linked service here we need to uh, choose our container so you know already the files also how you can able to parameterize that is what we discussed in the earlier session now sheet name so this should be passed dynamically okay so how to pass this dynamically i'll tell you so each sheet is having the first as header check this click ok sheet name i'll tell you how to pass it dynamically to pass the sheet name dynamically go to parameters create a parameter called ds param for sheet name okay come to connections come down here where is the sheet name so here sheet is there right what you will do click edit click on this click add dynamic content select this parameter 
so that sheet name we can pass dynamically so from this excel whatever sheet name we are passing that particular sheet we will be reading dynamically then sync site sync data set is what again a blob select a blob storage so we are converting into csv select csv bs blob for sync this is the linked services thing browse it cast out okay so just let it be because the sheet name the sheet name whatever i am passing with the sheet same sheet name i want to create a file name come to parameter click new here you can say ds param for file name so whatever sheet name i am passing same sheet name i will be passing here but that particular sheet name okay so what we will be concatenating is that sheet name dot csv because extension also should be there right so that's why that sheet name dot csv i'll be passing i'll be uh, passing here to create the file for example if i pass employee is the sheet name so employee sheet will select here file name will go as a employee but it is needs to be converted into csv that's why i'm putting employee dot csv so the extension of this file is going to be the dot csv okay two data sets are complete now what we need to do create a pipeline add the for each activity inside that use copy activity and select this data sets and pass the respective values let's finish all these steps let's go to your create a pipeline so this pipeline you can simply call it as a pl underscore data injection okay here you need to use the for each activity as i mentioned okay <clears throat> So inside for each you need to pass the sheet names right sheet names i am going to put it sequential means one by one so batch means everything will be done at once so let's go with the back the sequential here sheet names so with the multiple sheet names are there so that's why i'll be creating the area of elements so what is our first sheet name so without any spelling mistakes you can maybe copy paste your sheet names here okay what is your next sheet next sheet is employees you just put the employees okay that's how if you have multiple sheets you can put it in a table or file or you can directly put it in the for each activity. now these values i'll be passing into the copy activity so inside for each say i am going inside for each double click on this or you can open this multiple ways you can go inside the for each bring the copy activity inside this for copy activity select the source data set this is source data set okay this is the sync data set okay source data set if you see it is asking the sheet name how to pass the sheet name for each will give just select for each for each is giving the sheet name okay come to sync so file name also same as a sheet name but extension dot csv we have concatenated so we need to pass the same for the file name as well so now we have completed setting up the source data set passing the values now finally we need to run the pipeline let's run this we will see what will happen okay so if you see here okay if you look at here so for each is going to pass the two sheet names so two same copy activity will run two times with the different sheet names so now if you see so for each past first sheet name it uh, copy activity created a respective csv file again for each past next sheet name it uh, created the respective it created the respective file name if you go inside this one file read one file written okay 50 rows read 50 rows written fine come to sync go inside cast out you should be able to see department.csv employee.csv two files okay if you go inside departments.csv click edit you will be able to see here uh, the all the uh, department details if you go to employees.csv file you should be able to see all the employee data all the employee data you can just download and see as a csv or you can preview it here okay that's all team this is how you can dynamically create the uh, multiple csv file for each sheet okay let's go through the summary questions so what is the primary difference between excel and csv as you know excel file supports multiple sheets while csv files do not okay the option a is correct you know straight forward answer which of the following file extensions is typically associated with excel files dot txt dot csv dot xlsx and dot docs answer c is correct dot xlsx okay next 
what type of data is commonly stored in a csv files csv files we basically store plain text to table of data answer c is correct what does CSV stands for? It is a comma separated value. The answer C is correct here also. Next. Which file format is more suitable for storing complex calculation charts and graphs? It is a Excel. Excel files, files are mainly designed for complex calculation charts and graphs. Which of the following feature is unique to Excel files not available in the CSV files is Ability to create charts, graphs, and visualization. The answer C is correct here also. Okay, that's all, team. I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and encourage me to do more videos. Thank you for watching this particular video. If you have any questions, feel free to put your questions in the comment section. Thank you all.